Okay, now we're going to take the square root, that is we're going to simplify the square root of 300 and it happens to have a negative sign in front of it. So negative the square root of 300. It's a square root, so remember it has an index of 2. Now we're going to break down 300 into its prime factors. That'll be 3 times 100. 3 is a prime factor, but 100 breaks down into 10 times 10. Now notice I do not have to break tens down because the 2 wants numbers, wants one number that's repeated twice. And since 10 is bigger than any number it would break down into, 10 is the number I want. So I'll put 10 outside the radical between the negative sign and the radical and look what's going to be left there. 3. And so that will be my answer when I do this by hand. Now we're going to take negative the square root of 300. So I put that in the calculator. Negative the square root of 300 divided by x. Then I go to second graph and voila! There is my answer. Negative 10, the y1 number, without decimals, that's how you know that's what you're looking for. Negative 10 comes to the outside and 3 stays on the inside. There you have it.